My name is Isabel Toledo. I am a fashion designer and I am doing the costumes for the Nutcracker for the Miami City Ballet. And I'm uh, collaborating, I'm Ruben Toledo, artist, and I'm doing the sets. So we get to collaborate together and play. And fight. <laughs> it's my way. <laughs> it's your way. The idea is to kind of do a very beautiful, uh, naive, emotional yes. version of Nutcracker. Like a postcard. Like a beautiful old postcard, exactly. We want to really touch people's heart and memories of the joy of, of the holidays and what uh, getting together with family or, or being... Uh, uh, yeah. incubated by love and, and by all the wonderful things of, of, of holidays. So hopefully we do that through the textiles and the, and the sets and the projections that will be part of the, the Nutcracker. And I think also looking at Karinska's costumes was a big part of, of making sure that the magic that she developed, I carried out. And the sets as well, being done by Ruben. Well, this, yeah, the, the original production still features Karinska's original designs right. and Ruben Atunian's designs. So together, I think what they did was, was so beautiful and so precious and so, you know, has such graphic intelligence that we wanted right. to, to evolve that and, right. uh, and not, not depart from it, but evolve it, right. but still give it its own special feeling for Miami because Miami is such a design conscious city. Right. And of course, not to mention the climate change and right. the, the way colors are seen and everything. But that's what um, theatrical production of uh, dance does yes. and theater does. Yes. It transports you to another space, yes. another time. Yes, but it was important for us to tailor the production to the mood of Miami. We want to make sure that there is a shift in the feeling of the, of the actual dance. Not yeah. the dance, but the visuals of it. Everything is being weighed so that it's not too much weight on any of the dancers, hopefully. <laughs> all, our, all our seamstresses laugh because it's like a grocery store here. When we make something, we weigh it like potatoes or like onions or like carrots, right? So we're constantly, Isabel weighed the belt, then she weighed the crinoline, then she weighed the underwear. Oh, yes. and so each step is, each layer of the onion is being weighed to make sure we, we create as light a feeling. Yes. But like Isabel says, fashion is what time looks like. Yes. So she needs to, to mold the shape of, of this memory, right? So it has to look like something, it has that graphic impression, but yes. still be as light as possible. And the beautiful part of this is that this will all be animated. It'll actually be a projection that Ruben will focus in and then it, it, it almost, again, like the onion, it travels through you want to have layers. the house. Exactly. We want to do layers of, of bring people in first through, uh, through projections and animation and then, and then enter the real world of reality. So there's something nice, again, that the audience gets to to imagine what's behind these drawings right. and where, 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 where they're being taken. It's like, like in a dream. Yeah.